There's a lot of talk about swabbing, whether it be mm -hmm. nose swabbing, throat swabbing. I guess that depends on, on the, the test, but we need this clarified. Tell us what the deal is. Yeah, so the majority of tests right now are nose swabbing. So when you get that at-home test, you bring it home, look at the directions. If it says to swab your nose, don't swab your throat, don't swab your ear, swab your nose. Um, that's the way the test is made. There is more data suggesting that the Omicron variant could be sitting in the back of the throat. People are getting scratchy throats. It makes sense, right? So maybe there's a more virus sitting back in the throat as opposed to your, as opposed to your nasal pharynx. But at this point, if your test is to swab in your nose, swab in your nose. And don't just swab the outside of your nose. Go ahead and get in there for at least an inch inside and swab around because you really want to get a good sample um, so you can get good testing for it. And a good yeah, I mean, there's a reason why those testers, when they do it, they're, they're going back there on the floor of the nose. They may tweak your turbinate a little bit, which can cause a lot of, a lot of discomfort, but mm -hmm. that's the way the test has to be done. So don't freak out. And when you're doing your own testing, as Dr. Linda said, it's not just on the outside of the nose, you need to get into that nasal cavity. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And swirl it around. You follow the directions. Make sure you're reading the directions. Every test has different directions. I cannot say this, say this enough because you don't want to get that one at-home test that you finally found that's FDA approved, and then you get an error at the end because you haven't done it correctly. What about the saliva test? Any do's and don'ts there? Yeah. If you think about saliva testing, you've got to be sure of a few things, right? You've got to make sure they haven't eaten in the last few hours. They haven't used mouthwash. There's no other debris to block that testing. Um, so yeah. there's a lot of variables that take place uh, for the saliva testing. Any final tips, Dr. Linda? I would say just keep your ear to the streets. There's a lot of new studies coming out. Um, make sure that you do your research when you're buying your at-home tests. Um, check the check the site that you're buying from, make sure it's not a scam, make sure it's FDA approved um, and just follow directions appropriately. If you're positive, assume it's positive. If it's negative, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're negative. That's mm -hmm. right. Err err on the side of caution. Awesome. You don't want to get people uh, around you, your loved ones sick. Thank you so much. Dr. Ish, Dr. Linda Nabha, thank you for joining me today.